why doesn't the TGIF display all the talk groups that you are linked to, like the Brandmeister manager does? That is a really good question, and I'm not sure that is something with their API itself that has been created by them for use on the hotspots. Um, that would be a TGIF network question to ask to see why their API doesn't display that information. Okay. Yeah, I wish I had an answer for you on that one, but unfortunately I don't. It would be nice if it did, like the Brandmeister manager did. Yeah, the Brandmeister Manager is part of the API. To show you that here, um, if we go to Brandmeister Network, and I will apologize now for the dogs in the background. We have a four and a half month old Beagle Pug mix that has learned that he is part Beagle. And he's very, very, very cute. Okay, so right here is your regular self-care screen. This is actually where you put your hotspot security password in that you want to use. Um, if you need to change it on your SkyBridge or your other hotspot, this is where you would set it at. If you click on profile settings and API key, you'll click on API key. And this is where you set your different keys you'll hit add to create a new api key so let's just do one here and we're going to call this test and this long jumble of letters is the api key right here you actually click copy and then on the sky bridge or other hotspot you would come back to advanced and it should be, let's see, where is it? Under D, full editors, DMR, and Brandmeister API key. And then you'll just right click, click paste, and then click apply. And that'll enable the API for the Brandmeister manager uh, on your WPSD dashboard. So, um, one of the troubleshooting steps that you can also do with this is you actually can use the log viewer from the admin panel and you can select DMR gateway. And when you key up, you should see traffic coming from your radio right here. And it will tell you what your bit error rate is. If your bit error rate is over 3%, there is something going on with the radio or the sky bridge or hotspot. So you'll definitely want to double check your settings and make sure that you've got your frequency in your code plug correct. And if it is, and your devices are under warranty, um, send us a tech support ticket so we can take and evaluate both devices so we can figure out what's going on. Um, the other thing is if your color code's wrong or your DMR ID is wrong, you'll see that under MMDVM host. It'll actually show up and it'll say blocked because it's not allowing access because it's not on the access list. Now, let's say you've got two people in your house. Let's say you've got your son or daughter or spouse that's wanting to use their radio and DMR ID with your SkyBridge. What you can do is you can actually put in your call sign right here, or your, excuse me, your DMR ID right here, followed by a comma, and then put theirs in, and then click apply. And then it'll turn on this semi-public spot where you can click it. And that'll let you have both radios able to access your SkyBridge uh, at separate times. They can't be used at the same time, like both radios keyed up at the same time but you can have it where if one's available and the other one's not transmitting or in use, the other person can use it. So that's something that you can set up on your SkyBridge as well.
Um, let's see here. I'm trying to think of other things that I can show you guys here while I've got the screen up. Let's see. Here is the Brandmeister page. It actually will show you the information. Um, wow, it's been that long since I've keyed up my Skybridge. Wow. Okay. Been so busy working on everybody else's stuff, I haven't been using mine. This is also reminiscent of what the repeater page looks like when you click on a repeater ID. Example, if you go to repeater book, and we're just going to do a quick search for DMR repeaters. You will notice that they changed some of this. Here's a list of DMR repeaters that are around my general area. When this loads, gotta love ads. You can click on the DMR ID itself on this page, as long as it says IPSC Network Brandmeister. When you click on it, it'll actually pull up the repeater and it'll show you information about the repeater, like what the hardware is, what the firmware version is, how many watts it is, uh, if it has one or two time slots, and which Brandmeister master server it's connected to. And then down here, you can see all of the static uh, talk groups that are set up on that repeater on what time slots. Um, and the last time that repeater was used. So, neat little thing if you're trying to figure out why can't you reach a repeater is you can actually go back to a repeater book and search for the repeater and click on their DMR ID. And as long as it says Brandmeister uh, right here in Brandmeister US for the IPSC, it will pull up the repeater information page. And if the repeater is down, it'll actually show that status right here. It'll have a red power button icon and it'll show that the repeater's down. Uh, it'll say the last time it was online. So um, there is that. And it looks like we've got some comments here. Okay, Daniel, how do you cause trouble? Tell your wife or girlfriend or spouse that you spilled red wine on their white uh, sofa. That'll cause trouble. Or well, maybe don't do that. Is Larry is nodding his head in agreement there? <laughs> yeah. So, so just don't do that. That's 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 a bad day. Yes, it would be a very bad day and probably more trouble than it's worth. Remember, happy wife, happy life. <laughs>